Girls. 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 <laughs> okay. You go, girl. This is yours. Piece of machinery. Oh, uh, uh. I don't even want to take this off. I'm gonna just keep this on until I really turn this bad boy on. Let me stop. I can't believe it. Like, I have a new phone. <laughs> I have a new phone. I need to get a case pronto. Wow. I'm going to plug this in. Oh, I don't even want to use this. I don't even want to use that. It's a fake one. I'm gonna use the real deal. This is sitting right here. Oh, this is different. It don't come with a block? So, there's no block for you to put it in the wall. Phones don't come with a block now? You gotta pay for every motherfucking thing? Like, yes, I plug this into my computer, but like, how does this not come with a block? Am I tripping? Ain't nothing else in here. Where are the headphones that normally come with your iPhone? Do you not normally get headphones with an iPhone? Bitch, not it's been a damn decade since I had a phone. This all they want to give you is a motherfucking sticker. I don't need no sticker with the logo. I'ma keep it though, but I don't need that. It not coming with a block to put into the wall is actually crazy. You no longer need a physical SIM card. All of this is a whole bunch of rubbish. Is this for a SIM card? It don't look like it. I'll just airdrop stuff over to this phone. So my plan was never to like transfer everything that's in that phone to this phone. I want to download the apps that I want on here. I want to put contacts that I want in here. I don't want any of those pictures in here. Like we are starting fresh, fresh. Let me see if anything else in the box. Wow. How does a phone not come with the wall block? That's actually like really crazy to me. Okay, well. I'm sitting here editing. I guess what I should do is get a case ordered for this phone. Wow. I'll just take it off. This is sick. Hello. I've never had a phone that didn't have a button. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this phone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, we but I don't want to put anything that's on this phone on this phone. Let's just see. Bring your current near this phone. Okay, it's near it. Oh, set up new iPhone. Ooh, I'm scared. I bet you it's going to put all that stuff on here. Position this image in front of your... Ooh, girl, hold on, this is real technology. Wait, how do I know this is not going to transfer all the stuff? I don't want to transfer everything. Getting things ready. Just put, just make this my phone. Just set it up. Keep this iPhone near your other iPhone while setting up. Don't transfer everything. I ain't asked for all of that. Just make, just make it so then this is where the calls come through. That's all I wanted to do. I hope that's what it's doing. Ooh, girl, that technology is too much for me. I can't believe that. Wow, wow, well. I am one happy camper. I'm so happy to move on. My phone has done me justice. That's the thing with me and phones. Like, I'm running that phone through the mud. I'm gonna let that phone give me all it's got. I'm not buying a new phone off the strength of a new phone came out. That ain't never been. Let me not say that ain't never been. There was obviously a time where I wanted to have the newest phone just like everybody else. But after a while, it's like the iPhones are the same. And also financially, I wasn't in a place when the new phones were coming out after I got this phone for me to just go buy a new phone. It was just like, ain't nothing wrong with my phone. I can't really spend money on this right now. So choose Wi-Fi network. I like one a case right now. Like I feel like I'm holding a newborn baby when I pick that shit up. So let me see, Amazon. Oh, these are cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, my phone. Oh my gosh, my, it's my phone now. Okay, iPhone can recognize the unique three dimensional features of your face. I'm like, oh my. Use Apple Pay, make purchases or subscribe. Like I really don't want that, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I think this is the game. How to set up face ID. Like, am I getting into this or am I putting in my code? 
you know what? I'm putting in my code. I don't need nobody being able to just go like this with my phone if they wanted to steal it and then run it off. That's what I imagine. Okay, choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this phone. Don't transfer apps and data. Don't transfer apps and data. Sign in with your Apple ID to use iCloud or App Store. No problem. Wrong password, say less. How about that? Boom. But yeah, so with this phone, I got one terabytes worth of storage, meaning my phone shouldn't be getting filled so quickly. Even though I'm not just gonna say this happened quickly, like I've had this phone for five years and it's only just now getting to the point where it's like to capacity, like where my phone is not working that well. Wow, oh my God, you're done. Thank you. And I'm not letting it go, I keep all my um, phones. One, I like to look back at them, and two, yeah, just for memory's sake. It's just like, if I don't have it, who's gonna have it? I don't believe that you can wipe a phone clean for real. So I'm just like, I don't need nobody in my stuff. Wow, it has all of like, how I have it in this phone. Like, I like the dark on my phone. Like, I like for it to be black. I don't like the white on my phone. It's just not good for the eyes, and I just don't think it's good for the soul. <laughs> I have to see what this fucking camera looks like. Like, my concern that is that it's gonna be too crisp. Like, so crisp that this could be showing every last, like, look at Grammy. Like, bitch, I ain't asked for that. Like, yes, I want my pictures and videos to be crispier, but I don't need you all up and through. You know what I mean? Like, this is not supposed to be a microscope to the pores. Like, that's all I'm saying. I need to get back in my editing groove while I'm over here playing. You like a picture? Let me pose for you now. You got me now. Oh. Uh, 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 on the first day of Christmas, my true love came to me. In a battery on the second day of Christmas, my true love came to me. No, that's one thing about it for real. I love Christmas. <laughs> and you know what? It's not even Christmas so much as like, I just love holiday cheer. Like it could be any holiday. I just love cheer. Like I love when people are in like that mood. And Christmas happens to be the holiday where people are most likely going to be in the mood of just like, go ahead. No mess, no fuss. Like, you know what? It's the holidays. Go on. Yeah, 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 Like that type of, I like that energy. Like, can the world just be Christmas every day? Please, like, please. Yeah, today was a beautiful day spent with my family, which I'm so happy about because when I think about it, I have not had a family Christmas in years. Like when I moved to New York, I had Christmas just by myself and like maybe one or two friends. Um, I know one Christmas I spent Christmas with a friend of mine's family, but you know, it was nothing like being with your own family. And growing up, we used to go to my stepdad's mom's house for Christmas. She would cook, everybody would gather to her house and he got a big family and we would all go over there. She passed some years ago and we never did Christmas again. And that'd be one of the things about like getting older, you just see how family dynamics change when people pass and you know, especially the older people in your family, the matriarchs in your family, like they really be the ones holding the shit together and when they gone, it'd be sad because yeah, like. Like, there's nobody there that's going to get the family together like they did, you know? And so we stopped going over there and my mama's side don't get together like that, unfortunately. So my daddy's side, like my biological father, um, I just never did holidays with them, ever. But since moving back to Atlanta, I have spent every holiday with them and it has been a blast. It has been a blast because to my core, I am a family girl. I want to be with the family. I want to have that kind of relationship with my family. And I love my family. I laugh all day long with them. Nobody's perfect. You know, we all still a mess, but it's just something about being a mess with your family. That to me is just so fulfilling. And I've always yearned for that type of shit because that's stuff I've seen on TV. And I have friends who have big families and families that they see all the time. And I never had that growing up. Like, even though we were going to my stepdad's side of the family, it still never felt like mine because I didn't grow up with them. It felt like, you know, this is my stepdad's family, you know? So, yeah, man. It, it was a really nice day. Went to my aunt's house and my cousin's 
cousins were there. My nephew, who technically he my cousin, but bitch, that's my nephew. Like, I'm this much older than you, boy. You call me Auntie Kid. Ain't gonna be nothing else, you know? Um, so, yeah, I was with them, and it was just a really nice day. We was there all day, and it was just so nice. Came home, I set up the projector that HBO gifted me that I showed y'all. And why is that projector so good? Like, that was a bomb-ass gift. Thanks again to Scene in Black of HBO, because I fucking love that projector. I'm watching Riches on Amazon Prime. Cute show, I'm really getting into it. But that projector is so fucking nice. Anyway, I'll just pop it in, because I haven't turned on my camera since the end of the last vlog. Um, it's been a few days since I've turned my camera on, so I was like, let me just pop and it was up to the girls. We all wore matching pajamas for Christmas. <laughs> and it was just so cute. But uh, yeah, tonight I just popped some popcorn. Zara just dropped a sale, bitch. I'm about to find some shit that I need and want. I know what I said about not shopping on mobile baby is screaming. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we gotta give ourselves a pass, okay? I'm doing it. I'm not looking at clothes, I'm looking at home stuff. But if I see something that I can wear, baby, I'm about to buy. <laughs> And I ain't, I ain't got nothing in me that feels no remorse about it, baby. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Mama deserves a gift or three. So, yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, but, um, yeah, girl. I'm gonna enjoy the night. And I'll see you next time I turn on my camera. It's been really nice enjoying this break. Not gonna lie to you. Like, not turning on my camera. Not being like, like, tomorrow's Monday. And it's like, I'm not putting a vlog out tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Like, okay, wait, so when, when is the, when is another vlog due? Cause I ain't did the math yet. I know I said, never said the last vlog was gonna be my last vlog of the year, but how much break does that give me? Oh, now I just got one more week. Oh wow, okay, I understand. All right, that's cool. All right, I wonder if I'm gonna be doing like, I wonder if I'll be doing like a new year, new me type sitch. I don't know, I'll keep it hustling. I don't know, yeah, we'll see. Cause let's see, will there be any new year footage in the next vlog? Maybe, like the first is on Sunday. Yeah, the first is on Sunday, we'll see. Ew, like my thing is, is like if you're a dude who is trying to like make an impression on me, you trying to like act like you fake like me or like you give a fuck about me. If I don't hear from you on Christmas, boy, fuck you. I'm very much a Christmas bitch. So if you don't hit me up on Christmas and say Merry Christmas, good, you're dead to me. Like, if you're gonna be gone, stay gone. That's all I, listen, that's all I'm saying. If you gonna be gone, stay gone. I don't wanna hear about nothing. Do not text me no other time this week talking about what you're doing and what's up with you and how you feeling. I don't give a fuck about any of those questions. Today was the day to hit me up. You're done. Okay, bye. Or, we need to find a cute way to wrap these cords up. Girl, you know what I'm over here thinking? I'm thinking that it's my time to shine. Like, I genuinely believe that it is my time to do the thing. And I know what the thing is for me. I don't know if I'm ready to like vocalize it here. Well, yes I can, I don't have to, I don't have to edit this in there. But the thing is to like start Yeah, like, it's time, man. It's really, really time. And I can fucking do this shit. And it's gonna be tough, but it's just like, why not? You know, if not for anything else, then for fun. Let's see if I'll do it without the guarantee that someone else is gonna love it or approve of it. What if I just turn around and do that shit? Like, if you really say you wanna do it, if you really think you bad about it, if you really think you good at that thing, then you should just be able to do it. Like, are you really confident in the what the fuck you, you think you could do? If you is, then you just go ahead and do it. If you ain't, you're gonna keep pussyfooting around it. I'm tired of pussyfooting. So yeah, I just feel like it's my time to move forward. At least that's the energy I'm feeling right now. It's just like, bitch, like, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, bitch. Like, that type shit. Like, stop playing with her. It's time. Um, I'm about to take this off in 2.5. I feel like my skin has gotten all it can get. Let's take it off. <laughs> that was gross, because I didn't have to do all that. So I let this essence dry down on my face and then I'll put a little moisturizer on top of it. That's just to get some extra moisture on my skin. Y'all don't play around with moisture because moisture is also what's gonna help to clear your skin and get rid of those scars. 
So while you over there thinking you need stuff to lighten, you really probably need to moisturize, like focus on the moisture of it all. Like me. And make sure you get that neck. I already massaged it into my neck when I first put it on. But yeah, make sure you get that neck. Like watching older women that we love and that are beautiful, um, you know, you can see age on the neck, even if the face hasn't aged that much. The neck tells a story, baby, and it's telling stories that have been here for years. You know what I mean? And I just want my neck and my face to be telling the same age story. That's all I'm saying. I don't want my face to give uh, black don't crack and my neck to give, maybe crack isn't that whack. You know what I mean? Like, like, mm -mm. so what was I gonna say? Oh, well today is the day after Christmas and uh, it is 1.13. Yo, I keep getting the number five. I added 1.13 together, it's number five. What is that about? Let me look up what the numerology behind five is. Number five is related to, number five is related to personal freedom and independence, individualism, adaptability, major life changes, and life lessons learned through experience. Number five also symbolizes motivation and determination, adventure, courage, imagination, and making positive choices. Ugh. Ooh, all right, let me tell you. Oh man, I'm gonna get emotional. But God is seriously always talking to me. And this has been like a thought that's been like in my body for the last few years. But over the last few days, I've been thinking heavily about flying to London and living out there for a few months. And while I'm in London, traveling to Italy and Paris, and just trying to figure out how I would go about doing that. And I think it's just as simple as buying the ticket. Like, I think it's just as simple as that. And I wanna do it, and the things that stop me are just like, okay, well, how am I gonna make money while I'm out there? Bitch, you got YouTube, you can make money off YouTube. That's one thing about it. I do make money off YouTube. Boom, you can make money off YouTube. That's why I need y'all to watch them ads. Let them ads play for your girl one time for the one time. Y'all ain't never had to sit through a commercial before. Let that ad play, okay? Please, help me. <laughs> but, um. Just like the hesitation is me just not knowing how I'm going to live the life I'm living here, there. Like, how will I make money? Will I be lonely? Will I be da da da? It's like, bitch, you're lonely here. Bitch, you don't know where your money is coming from here. What's gonna change if you go over there? Something might spark, something might happen. There might be a, a change because of the scen scenery changing. There might be a change in your energy that might attract those things that you're looking for right now. I just have to kind of like trust the process. And I'm not scared of being somewhere else. I've done this multiple times, but I'm just, I don't know. I think I might buy a ticket to London today. I think I might do that. I have a lot of supporters who live in London, one of which happened to reach out to me today. It's a guy, Q2. And uh, he's a fitness trainer out there. Y'all know I love fitness. And he was talking about, um, he was, uh, he was talking about um, this, that, and the third. And then I was like, oh, you know, I'm thinking about, um, you know, I'm thinking about coming out there. And he was kind of putting me on to like areas that I should look into and I, I, I and you know, offering his, um, his uh, tourists, you know, showing around services. So that, that definitely puts the body at ease. Shut up! That death puts the body at ease. Yeah, I might have to see what he's talking about with that. For real. I'm not kidding. It's like, do I buy flights first or do I find a place to stay first? I guess I can do it all together. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And what I do from today up until then will be what I do from today up until then. Let's talk about it. Like, I actually do believe in myself and trust myself to make good decisions, even though I don't act that way. Like I be acting like I need to consult everybody I know about decisions I make before I make it. And whether I know it or not, that subconsciously tells my body that you don't trust yourself. Like that indecisiveness, even when you know you've made decisions that are good for you, that act 
act of like needing to call a friend or ask somebody their opinion about a decision you're about to make, that shit right there, it does something to your subconscious mind that tells yourself that you always have to get validation from someone else. Someone else has to okay your decision. Somebody has to approve. And I don't even align with that. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I get so pissed off when I end up doing what somebody else told me to do, and it don't work out because to my core, I know what's gonna work out for Ken Ken. So I can't be sitting up here, you know, asking other folks what they think I should do all the motherfucking time. It don't make no sense for me to do that. I say that to say, I'm not gonna do my normal thing of telling someone, yo, what do you think about me doing this? Because guess what all my friends are gonna say? Fuck yeah, bitch, do that shit. My friends ain't gonna do nothing but support me. Cause all the things I wanna do, they know. They know just like I know that I don't make bad decisions for myself, you know? When we talking about the grand scheme of things, like I am responsible and I put a lot of intention and thought into my decisions, all my decisions, really. <sighs> huh. I feel good, I'm gonna, Look up some flights right now. I'll be right back. I um, I got my ticket to London. Uh, I did it. I fucking did it. Wow, these. <gasps> These pieces are so little. Okay, so my family, we did a secret Santa and I asked for these Lego flowers. I've been looking at these flowers for like the last two years. And I was like, you know what? Let me put this in my uh, secret Santa thing. They've been in my Amazon cart for a long ass time. And finally, I have it. And look how small these pieces are. Like what? I'm gonna put this together today and I can't wait. Wow, these directions are so not my kind of directions. Like ain't no words, it's just pictures. Like bitch, this is mathematics now. And I'm gonna get another one of these too. This works out because I wanted to have these kind of flowers on this wall that I'm gonna be decorating. Y'all are gonna see me decorating this wall over like the course of the next few months. I'm narrowing down on a paint. I'm trying to collab with this paint company. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out which paint I want and then get started. We painting, I know the concept that I'm looking for. I know what I'm trying to do with the wall. I just need to get the things. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm I'm excited, I'm it, 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 A. <laughs> Ew, the A is, ooh. These panties too tight. Sorry, but they is. My coochie is barking. Like, let me out. Let me out. All right, girl, enough, enough. Calm down, kitty cat. She wants out. Um, and I'm about to let her. Okay, so let's talk about what I plan on doing with that wall. I wanna turn that wall into a music homage wall. I have a color in mind that I wanna paint it. I'm still going back and forth about the color because putting a bold color on that wall will really change the way that this space looks. And so I don't wanna regret it, but here's the thing. Paint isn't permanent. We can paint over top of it. We can fix it, we can whatever. I just know it's gonna be a lot of work. So I wanna take my time figuring that part out. Like I'm gonna get samples, I'm gonna paint the samples on the wall this time instead of just having samples that I never use. Like those samples that I got months ago, I never cracked them open. They are literally still sitting in the cabinet to this day. I don't even know if they're still good. But like get some paint samples and paint the wall with the samples in different areas of the wall just to see like what certain areas look like when there's a shadow on them, what it looks like when the sun is directly on it, how it dries down, like all those things are important to figure out. Gonna do that and gonna do some with just one coat, gonna do some with two coats to see like what I like. Oh, so the plan is I found some cool shelves on Etsy that I might get or I might go the route of getting like some floater shelves off Ikea and painting them myself and just like letting the accoutrements do the talking 
So there are like some globe lights that I'm looking at that I'll use as bookends because I'm gonna have some CDs on these floating shelves. And then I'm going to get some vintage posters and like pictures from like highlights from the 2000s basically. Moments that stood out to me when I was growing up, moments that I love. Like the first one that comes to mind when I tell people I'm thinking about doing this idea is when Beyonce was performing Me, Myself, and I. I think it was the first time she performed it at the BET Awards. And she was singing in the aisles and she sang, you know, in front of Andre 3000 and she started walking by Andre 3000, like grabbed his chest. Bitch, that's what the fuck I want on that motherfucker wall. You know what I'm saying? Framed up and looking nice. So I'm gonna go to CVS and I'm gonna see what the quality is, what the quality's like when I print pictures out. Cause I'm gonna get them to be like, some of them will be poster size. But yeah, pictures of like certain highlights throughout the 2000s as well as like classic like video moments that I love, screen grabs of things that I love that just kind of embody music for me. And yeah, I just wanna make it like my ode to music. And I really wanna work with some brands doing this. Like I would love to partner with a home goods brand or a... someone who's getting proposed to again. This shit is fucking hard. Like, first of all, just like talking to her and lying, it's stressful. Like having to keep saying, oh, no, I, I don't know anything. Oh no, he hasn't told me anything. Bitch, I know the whole enchilada. I know the whole damn plan. But, okay, so I had to make sure my phone was not on. This is an order I got from Intermix. And my issue is I wanna make sure they didn't forget about another part of my order. Okay, so one of the things I got was this tube top set. But when they sent me the tube top, it just came with the top. When they sent me the set, it only came with the, the top of the set. And I'm like, I know there is no way y'all think that I just ordered the top. I know that they better send me that skirt. Anyway, this is a Jonathan Simsky. Simkai, Jonathan Simkai situation. Intermix had like this really huge sale. Cause their stuff is expensive, but they had a flash sale. This is really nice. Ooh, is this gonna be too small? I hope not. This is gorgeous. Shoot. I got a small and I'm, it's just like I'm coming to terms with the fact that bitch, I might be a medium. Like nothing about me is giving small these days. It's giving medium. I'm gonna try this on, hold on, BRB. Uh, no. It fits. It's so good. I love this. Stop it. It's so nice. This shit is cute. Okay, so I bought this for a vacation that I have not even planned, purchased, any of that. But, uh, like, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Like, no, I'm loving it. No, I'm loving it. Like, no, I'm loving it. <sighs> hey. Ooh, I'm looking a mess, kinda. Hold on. Hello? Okay, that didn't do shit. Anyway, girl, I am worn out. It is the 29th, and tomorrow one of my closest friends is getting proposed to. I can't even talk. She's getting proposed to tomorrow, and it's a surprise, because most proposals are. And, Oh my god, no one ever told me it was gonna be this draining. And the draining part comes from just the secrecy of it all. And this particular friend is bitch inspector motherfucking gadget. So trying to keep shit away from her is like trying to keep candy away from children. So, ah oh shit, I forgot to return that shit. I bought some nasty ass shit that I thought was gonna be good on sandwiches. These sliced sweet pimentos, first of all, they lying. It's the furthest thing from sweet. And I know that because I picked one up and tasted it, bitch, it tasted like nothing. It just tasted like material. 
All right, so really what it is that I got going on is just kind of like preparing for the new year since we're coming up on that time. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I do not make going out plans on New Year's, New Year's Eve. I like to be in the house. Um, those days of trying to find a turn up are over for me. I have no interest in doing that shit. I genuinely like to be in the comfort of my damn boudoir. I wanna be hell. Okay, I want to bring in the new year with my energy. You know, when you go out, you don't have control over what's going on around you, who's getting on your nerves, none of that. And it's something about that type of juju that I'd be like, uh-uh, I don't want no parts of that. I also am very much African-American and bringing my new year eating black eyed peas, greens, and cornbread, all of which will, I'll start um, preparing tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should start soaking these beans today. I don't think I don't think they need to soak for that long. I have to check my black book. <sighs> I also picked up some fresh flowers for the house. So we've got these roses. Hello. Why is you going haywire? Hello. Okay, so we've got some of these roses, and then I have some yellow roses. And then I have these like pale pink and yellow daisies. Um, what are they called? Gerbersa, Gerbera, Gerbera daisies. And the doll, some lilies. And so I currently have some lilies sitting up there, but I was like, if those start browning and stuff before the first, I'm gonna be annoyed. And it looks like tomorrow might be their last day on earth. So I was like, let me just, let me show you them. You see what I'm talking about? Like. They look beautiful today, tonight. But tomorrow, things might start looking a little war. So, I'm gonna get all these girls settled into their home. Uh, but today was a good day. Today, I met up with my friend's future fiance. And <laughs> it's just so crazy. Like, what? We're that grown where like, my friends have fiances. Like, no girl, I'm still a teenager. Like, I'm still like, trying to get my belly button pierced. Like, I'm still trying to like, just, figure out like does this boy like me like yeah you know, like I'm not that like I'm not there yet yeah guys so um yeah anyway we went to go and look at the venue and went to look at the venue I had to get instructions on where to go how to go because there's two entrances and we have to avoid one of the entrances because she'll see everybody. Everybody being her friends, her family. So that's where I come in the picture because I'll be the one with her and I have to, my sense of direction is horrible, but can't drop the ball on this, you know what I mean? So everybody has a role to play and we are going to make sure we get her done. So, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so we've got that. Now, I'm not a um, new year, new me type of bitch. However, I'm very much into new year, new energy. So like, I'm with all that, like, oh, when a new year start, this one I'm about to be on type shit. I think it's great to be encouraged by the new year. There's nothing like that new year energy. And so, I'll never be, Shitting on nobody who's like, you know how people be like, I don't wanna see y'all talking about new year, new me. Do that shit now. Shut the fuck up, you damn Grinch. Like, look, shut up. There is literally nothing wrong with waiting until the new year to get started on something. And yeah, I'm that type of bitch. The forecast for next year for me literally looks like me taking more risks on myself. Not even risks. I think the better way to say that is just like me being more confident about chasing some of these dreams that I have. I know a lot of y'all think I'm the most confident girl on earth. And in most situations I am, but I have absolutely fallen off when it comes to how I show up in chasing these dreams and goals that I have. Well, you know what? Let me rephrase that because I really haven't because one of my dreams and goals was to get to this place emotionally and maturity wise and uh, socially, you know, where I have friends who I see regularly and all that. So I've achieved a lot of, a lot of my personal goals this year, but next year I do want to put some of that energy back into my professional goals. You know, like, girls, I'm meant for the TV screen, you know, the big leagues. And when I moved to New York in 2015, it was to pursue acting. 
I'm gonna take these leaves off. It was to pursue acting, and um, that's exactly what the fuck I did. I got up there, I found an agent, and I started doing some commercials and commercial shoots. And then I got a hosting opportunity, a few hosting opportunities, and I just kind of stopped pursuing the acting stuff. Not because I don't wanna act, but just because I really didn't have the time to pursue it. I had taken these gigs as a host, and the money was doing what it needed to do you feel me and so it was just like you know this is what I'm doing right now but I am ready to get back into pursuing acting that's where I am and not just pursuing acting but pursuing just like things in life that I've always wanted to do like traveling to certain places spending time in different countries like that shit is also a dream that I am looking to pursue next year and will fulfill you understand what I'm saying like it is already written I just kind of want to stop doubting myself and letting the fear of imperfection stop me from pursuing these things. I have to remind myself that this shit won't be perfect. Nothing that I do is perfect. These YouTubes ain't perfect. I'm still doing them and they're still appreciated. And I just have to remind myself like, whatever it is that you create, it will be appreciated, period. So, yeah girl, that is my new year resolution. Now I've already kind of laid some of that groundwork already. Uh, so it won't be foreign. Oh nice, these don't have spikes, thank God. But yeah, it's time. Also another resolution for me, I'm really hoping next year that I find the love of my life. Like, I don't think y'all understand, I am truly a lover girl, honestly. That doesn't mean I'm gonna be dating any Tamias, Daquan, and Harold. I'm going to take my time with it and choose people who choose me and feel like they are not trying to disrupt my life. Like, I'm looking for a person who sees me and only wants to provide great energy and laugh and love and like great amazing dick. Like, just to make it frank, you know what I mean? Okay, this, this channel is not for kids. That's one thing about it. I know some of y'all be saying, oh, I watch this with my daughter, I hope she's of age. Age, babe like I hope y'all are talking about sex cuz guess what I'm doing it I hope well that's the thing see why well, I'm talking about I'm doing it I ain't been doing it but I'm ready I'm ready yeah one of my New Year's resolutions is to get it done <laughs> yeah I'm trying to get in it you know what I mean? so in order for me to do that at this stage in the game I need a man that I'm in love with Cause baby, I am in no place mentally or emotionally where I'm interested in having sex with somebody random. Like, I can't even, I can't fathom that. I get nothing out of it. They'll be having all the fun. I'll be feeling like I'm being put to damn words. Like, why am I giving pleasure to this idiot that don't give a fuck about me? Mm -mm. Like, it just feels silly to me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What the lady say? Get somebody else to do it. And I mean that. That is literally the motto next year. Get somebody else to do it. That and you thinking small. We need to be thinking big, bitch. Like them profits right there. Yeah, that is, that's how I am moving into the new year. Period. I chose these particular colors for my, oh, you can't even see my flowers. Pop. I chose these specific colors because they just remind me of the type of energy I'd like to have walking into the new year. I really am looking for vibrancy in my own life and I just, I pray to continue to be a light, but I also am hoping that someone will be a light in my life, you know? Okay, y'all tell me if I'm crazy, but I noticed that one of these people that live across the hall from me put a ring camera outside their door. Cool, people do that. But people do that who live someplace where anybody can just come up to your door. I'm not in one of those situations. Where I live at, you have to let somebody in. Nobody can just get in here. You have to have key access to get into stuff. Can't nobody get in here. Ain't no random people ever walking in the halls. Like, that. it just don't go down like that. Not even delivery people can get up here. You have to literally let everyone up yourself. You can't even let them up. There's not even a button you can press that just automatically opens the door for people to get to your floor. You have to let them up. So I'm like, I'm starting to feel like y'all just spying on me.
And I'm really not trying to be funny, but like, that's what I think is going on because with them ring cameras, anytime somebody walk out of their spot, you can, you get an alert. Like, oh, there's movement in front of you or whatever the hell. And since they live directly in front of me, anytime I open my door, anytime I go out there, they gonna get that alert. I e alerting this person when I'm coming in and out of my apartment. They don't need to be knowing my schedule. They don't need to see when I'm coming in and out of my house. Like, I just feel like it's dangerous. And it doesn't face anybody else but me. And it's white men. And I'm not comfortable with that. I wouldn't be comfortable if it was anybody, but I don't need y'all knowing when I'm in and out of my house, period. And so, I'm thinking about bringing that up to the Lisa office, like, what's y'all's rules on, and y'all tell me if I'm tripping and if I'm doing the most and if I'm like being a snitch and being weird. But I genuinely want to ask the Lisa office, like, what are your rules on these ring lights? Cause I don't feel comfortable with the position of a ring light, you know, from one of my neighbors. And really the thing that really is like bugging me y'all is that you really don't fucking need one. Like nobody can come in here without you letting them up. And there's an app that we use to let people up and that has a camera on it. It's just like, what do you need a ring camera on your door for? It's, it's bugging me, it's bugging me. Anytime I leave my apartment, it bugs me. Cause I'm just like, now this bitch ass bitch knows when the fuck I'm not in my place. I don't like that. And moreover, when I come in here, now they know when I'm home. I don't like that. That makes me feel like a motherfucker is watching me. And like, here's the reason why I'm hesitant on going down to Lisa's office and saying something. They gonna dismiss what I'm saying. Like, even if they're not breaking any rules with the ring thing, don't try to make me feel like I'm being crazy or over exaggerating. Like, bitch, people are getting murdered. Like, crazy people exist. And you never think it's gonna be you or anybody around you because, I don't know, people don't think that shit happens to them. But, yeah, you don't think that until it happens to you. Bitch, I ain't about to let it happen to me. I'm not about to let it happen to me. And let me tell you something else. Guns is legal in Georgia. And I'll do it. I ain't kidding about that. Anyway, so tonight, I'm gonna make myself a little dinner. Morning, girl. Okay, got a little foot bath going here. Is this water hot? Ooh, very hot. Let's let you cool off a bit. Put some cold water in here. Let's see. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was. So hot. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Well, good morning. Fun fact I do not like sitting in bathtubs. I'm a shower girl. Yet sitting in a bathtub is just uncomfortable for me. I don't do it. So instead, I use this bathroom with my bathtub. I have two bathrooms. So I use this one to wash my hair, as y'all have seen me do a few times. And also um, to do this, to do foot baths. Yo, I think I burnt my foot. I really do. But yeah, foot bath. I'll give myself a nice pedicure and I'll start with letting my feet soak in this water. I'll bring me a little magazine. Today is British Vogue with my sister on the cover. You know it ain't. Period. And we just relax. Today's major because today is proposal and she has absolutely no clue that it's happening. And so yeah, big, big day. Big major, major day. Okay, so the materials that I use for this foot bath. Johnson's Baby Bubble Bath, pop. And then I squirt some of this Johnson's Almond Oil in there. I let my feet soak for a cool, like, really as long as I want to. Your feet don't need to soak hella long for you to get the moisture from it. But if you want, like, the relaxing element, you can be in here for as long as you want to. I like to stay for a good amount of time. After a while, this seating situation isn't that comfortable. I could, like, lean up against this side or this side if I want to. Um, maybe that's what I should do. Um, what else do I have over here? I have, um, nail clippers, I 
have my buffer for my toe nails. I don't use a pumice stone on my um, heels or anything. And really just because I don't have to. If I had like a lot of dead skin or something, then I would use one. But girl, how about I had bought a damn pumice stone um, because I saw somebody else using one online, right? So I'm like, ooh, let me get one. Like I haven't done that to my feet in a minute. Bitch, did that shit to my feet? Why did it create all these like, I had a whole bunch of hard dead skin on the bottom of my foot after that. And it was because I scratched my skin and it made it hard. Like I unnecessarily made it hard down there because I used that pumice stone. If you don't have, um, if you don't have cracked heels and if you don't have like visible dead skin down there, you do not need to be using no damn pumice stone. Ew, this is not the best. <laughs> <laughs> motion but yeah you don't need to use no pumice stone down there unless there is visible dead skin you need to get off otherwise you are just scratching your skin and you're creating like the issue so yeah i stopped doing that or whatever and my feet are back normal this is after weeks of me putting on very thick moisturizer like body butters on my feet with aquaphor on top of that and wearing socks to sleep that's the key to get your feet back soft if you're dealing with any unsoft issues but i'm yeah my feet don't uh get hard on the bottom or like get rough at the bottom so i don't really use the the buffer thing um i use this this buffer is for my actual toenail and so yeah next my old toenail kit which has its own clippers in it and like little tools to get all up and through the nail to clean the nail out scissors if i need to cut something um and different size clippers Got that and then this Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover um I love this to open up the toenail get rid of that cuticle and make the toenail look bigger I used to use this on my fingers I don't use it as much but I am gonna use it today I'm gonna give myself a whole manicure like yeah this little concoction here the Johnson's um, bubble bath it just smells good you know if you have somebody putting your toes in their mouth they'll really appreciate this little combo right here because your feet are gonna be smelling so good and they are gonna be so so soft so soft so yeah this is just my little you know extra tlc that i do for myself not often but like i say like every couple of months i should do it more often though i could really just pull up a comfortable chair and sit here and do this i don't have to sit on the edge of the bathtub all right let's start doing some of the <sighs> Just got my Zara package. Let's see if it's everything we dreamed of. Hold up. Ordered a lot of things from Zara, actually, because they had this sale. I know what you're thinking. Kennedy, you said you ain't gonna buy nothing. You said, you said, bitch, okay? All right. Yes. Okay, number one, I bought me a suit. I don't know if the bottoms are here. Yeah, it doesn't look like the bottoms are here, but this is the top. Ooh, yes. Hopefully that fits. I can get it tailored. What size is this? This is a medium. All right, a double-breasted, I think that's double-breasted, suit with the pants to match. The pants just aren't here yet. I just, I wanted a suit. Next, I got this dress. Nah, so I think this is gonna be real nice when I put it on. Is this broken? No way. <gasps> no fucking way. One of the straps is broken. I can get somebody to sew this for me. But god damn. Okay, got some damaged goods here. Like, this is supposed to be connected to this, but it came like this. Like, Zara, excuse you, excuse you. All right, but I got this for vacation. I've been buying vacation things and have bought no vacation, okay? Like the other day, I went to Zara <laughs> and I bought this top, which I will wear as a cover up, like it's an XXL. I'll wear this as a cover up. First of all, their sizing is fuck. Like this is nobody's XXL. This is a large at best. For this to be called an XXL is disturbing. Anyway, so I got this to wear over top of a bikini. I'm thinking Italy. Thank you. Next, oh, this is the white version of a navy top that I got. And I got this because I wanted a white version of that, so. Oh, this is another little summer thing I got. Again, another summer top situation, well, summer dress. This is a size medium, but I definitely could have gone with a size small. It's okay, it's all right. 
But uh, yeah, that'll be real cute. You have one of these undone with your bikini up under it. Like, yes, ma'am, I'm seeing it. I'm deaf seeing it for sure. One thing about me, I love a cover up. <gasps> oh, the suit is here. Oh, nice. I hope these pants fit. This is a medium, real nice. I'm gonna try this on later. This is another just nice little flowy top that I also got. All this stuff is giving Italy. So I don't know, maybe I need to go to Italy. Um, but yeah, this top is giving that. Very, very cute. I like it a lot. This is a size small. But oh, this is a dress that I was excited for that looks like it's gonna be a little small. It's a baby doll, girl. The coochie gonna be out. This is gonna be too fucking small. And this is a medium. I'm gonna try this shit on right now. I got some pants, cause y'all be talking about, oh, these Zara jeans, these Zara jeans. So I went ahead and got some Zara jeans so I can see if they're really talking about what y'all be saying. And we'll see, this is a size six. We'll see, we shall see. This is the Kaya and Zara collab. That's what these jeans are. And then I got these loafers. I've always wanted some loafers. I thought these were cute. I like the, this is black and then the soles are brown. For chocolate. All right, I'm gonna try some things on. Maybe I'll turn the camera back on so you can see, but nice purchases. Let's see what I regret. Let me explain something to you. Obsessed. This is just okay. I don't love it. Like, if I wanted to do this look, let me buy this while I'm in that country. Like, this being from Zara, and it's also just giving cheap, kind of. All right, so these jeans, you're not getting a lot of butt, right? But I don't mind that. I know I got ass. I'm not concerned with making sure everybody knows that every day. What I really be looking for in jeans is how it fits right here in the front. Does it give me that big old penis pouch? And this doesn't. I love these. I love how this is a low rise fitting jean, which is my preferred fit. I love a low rise situation just in case I wanna wear something that's a cut off or it looks good when it's just like this. Like it just doesn't matter. It just gives me more variety and I love it. These are the, giving like apple bottom, but I don't care about that. I really don't care about that. I care about this front. What you get in a bag, that's your problem, baby. That's your problem. You know, you just gonna have to wait and find out. That's my thing, like be patient. Like you so worried about that, be patient. <laughs> so yeah, that's for anybody who's like, dang, dang, like she ain't got no rush, she gotta be patient. You never know. Right? Okay, so, yeah, love these. So overall, I'm not mad at my purchases. I'm not mad at my Turn into a gremlin. Um, overall, I'm not mad at my purchases. I think for sure, I'm going to return at least two of the things that I have. Like that pink dress, I don't love it. So it's like, don't keep it if you don't love it. Anything that's going in my closet needs to be used multiple times and it needs to be loved. Um, I don't love that pink dress. So it's leaving also it came damaged. So it's just like, bye. All right, girls, it's time for me to get in the shower. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys in about time. Bye. Hello, happy new year's. Eve girl. We are preparing for tonight's festivities. I've got some black eyed peas that will sit here and soak for the next few hours. I don't even normally be soaking my black eyed peas. I know he's supposed to, but let me tell you something. I'm not at that stage where I'm like grandmama level cooking, okay? Y'all see what I cook. I cook sandwiches. That, that, that's what I got going on, you know what I mean? A little damn near ready-made pasta. Like this ain't grandmama's kitchen, so. This ain't gonna be done how your grandmammy used to do it, okay? So keep them comments seats. I don't wanna hear about, well, you know, when I made my girl, don't care about when you made it, don't give a fuck. 
okay? I don't need to know how you make it, bitch. I don't give a damn. Not right now, okay? Not for this one. This gonna be made how I make it, right? We starting the year my way. That's what we doing. So, all I do, okay, every now and again, I might do this where I let them sit. And you do this so then they can um, soften up a bit, right? So, I'm gonna let them sit for a few hours and I get to cooking probably around like seven. I'll probably start cooking. So, I got this and I got my collard greens and um, I'm gonna make my black eyed peas in the slow cooker that I have. Yeah, oh my gosh. Let's talk about last night, bitch. Last night went perfectly. I'm not gonna say too much because it really was a private, intimate moment. I'm still, um, um, replaying things in my head about last night. I don't think I'll ever get over it. It was just, it was perfect. Everything just came together. Oh my goodness. Okay, number one, the second part of my package from Zara came in. Love everything. Here's the thing. What I'm unpacking right now, I'm so excited for. These are things from my girl Alana from A Life Balance. I'm gonna show you everything after I take it out of the packaging, which she really, I really appreciate how she makes sure everything is protected and packaged up nice and tightly and all bubble wrapped up because USPS don't give a damn about your package. You could put fragile all over that bitch. They throwing your shit around. Trust me, duh. She sent so many little treats. What's this? Oh, beautiful. I will be burning this for the new year. Last thing. Smell that. I don't want to open it yet, though. I want to finish what I have open. Okay, let me show you everything. So, number one, she sent one of her butters. This is called Indigo. It says, raw organic ingredients of macadamia seed butter, mango butter, proprietary blend of plants and essential oils, phthalate, paraben, and dye free. This is for hair and body, best used on damp skin daily. I love her butters. I really, really do. If you're looking for a deep moisture, just want to show you if my camera will act like she got some sense, yeah. Okay, this is a body oil elixir. So excited for this, like, here it is. How cute is the packaging? Cute. Nectar body oil elixir, yum. Nourishing blend of exotic, organic, cold pressed fruit and botanical oils to soften and moisturize your skin. I'm mad that my camera was not focused so y'all could get that raw reaction. Bitch, this smells so good. Ooh. Dab a little bit on the skin so I can get a real good whiff of it. Mmm, this is the kind of thing you put behind your ear. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's giving come hither. It's giving very much eat me. Uh, let me tell you what she got up in here. These are the organic oils she used. Passion fruit, a uh, passion fruit, cucumber, plum, strawberry, piqui. I don't know piqui. Prickly pear, kalahari melon, soursop, coconut cream, papaya enzyme, vitamin E, and vanilla. It is warmer than you think based on those things. Like I know towards the end we started hearing the warmer scents like vanilla, coconut cream. Um, it is the perfect blend of a vanilla-based citrus smell. Oh, I love that. That is that is nectar. That's really a nectar. I'm gonna tell you one thing. They're gonna be buzzing around your flower. You put this on. They're gonna be buzzing around your flower. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so she re-upped me on my favorite amber scent this is the one i was telling y'all y'all needed to go and get look at her not me pop and then the roll on which i like to keep in a purse with me at all times and then this is a newbie or new to me sweet energy botanical uh aromic aromatic botanical aromatic mist herbaceous grassy notes dipped in sweet honey vanilla mm. Anoint your aura and sacred space to uplift your spirit and invite positive vibes, peace, harmony, purification, and love. Stop it. So this is something you spray in the room. That's nice. Okay, I like that. I can see me spraying this here and there. Open it up. Let me give it a spray. Let's see what it's talking about. Hold on, let's spray it right here. One thing about it, she wasn't lying about the botanical. It's giving earth, okay? And if that's your vibe, you'll definitely like that. She also sent me 
Palo Santo, which I will happily be burning in my home tonight. Thank you so much. And these hand rolled incense, which as soon as I took them out of the paper they were wrapped in, I could just smell them so much. I am so grateful to Alana. One, for the work that she puts into her brand and how she provides us with these great products. But two, I think the intention and the love behind it, I feel like a lot of who she is is wrapped into her brand. And I don't know Alana that well. We've met a few times because believe it or not, she lived a block away from me when I was living in Brooklyn. And I didn't even know that when I first, you know, purchased something from her. But she did, cause she was like, girl, I could just bring this to your house, I'm right here. <laughs> so, you know, I met her a few times, but I just feel like with her brand, it's so intentional. And, it, and they, these seem to be things about her that she has made a point to, you know, have be present in her brand. So I'm just so grateful that she shows me this type of love and sends me gifts like this because I use them and I love sharing them with y'all because I think it's important for you all to know about brands that are offering more than just the product, but a service. And the service is community, it is spiritual, and it is love. So shout out to her um, because the love is felt and always appreciated. And I hope she knows that it is mutual because I am very, very, very grateful for the love she always sends me. Um, okay, so let's talk about what I got from Zara, girl. This is the second part of the order. Number one, I'm into flats right now. I'm in the flats right now. I'm picturing wearing these with a nice large jean, a big old jean, and then these are just peeking. The toe is just peeking out. When it comes to mini dress season and I have on my cute little mini dress, throwing a little sling back. You know what I mean? I just thought these were so chic. It's giving New York and it's giving grown and style, um, period. Like you either get it or you don't. A lot of people won't and guess what? I don't, I'm not even mad at it. I know flats and especially like sling back, you know, flats like this, it's not everybody's vibe. Totally get it, baby. That's why I'm wearing it. You know what I mean? This is what I'm doing. You do it, I am. And I'll show you how it looks when I put it together and you're gonna be like, hmm, maybe I should give it a swirl. Don't let me tell it, boo boo. Um, okay, next, I bought this dress because I have an outfit in mind, but I might take this back because how many times do I wear this? I don't know, like, bitch, are you going to homecoming? So what I imagine wearing this with was with some stockings and a chunky heel. Imagine the Gucci stockings with a chunky heel. Now, ask me if I own the Gucci stockings and the chunky heel. No, no I don't. <laughs> so, purchase this for no reason. Yeah, purchase this for an idea. An idea that I don't have half the shit of. You know, it's, it's not. A, it wasn't a well thought out idea. But we'll see, I'll try it on and if I love it, babe, I love it. You know what I mean? Like, what am I gonna do, take it back? No, not if I love it, not if I love it. Okay, anyway. Bye. Wow, time out, watch out now. It's a little one and I'm not bow wow. Oh, yes, me. Oh, first sandwich of 2023. Sandwich of 20, 20, three. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And a Hong Kong to you too. <laughs> yes, baby. Mmm, I heard Ow. Doing too much, doing too much, doing too much. Why? Yo, I hate when the olives do this. Come out. Yeah, girl. Mama had to make a sandwich. I'm hungry. I really wish I um I'm just talking about what I really wish. Ow, that hurt. I really wish that I had a smoothie. I really want a smoothie, but 
Vegas can't be choosers, and bitch, I'm begging. Bottoms up. Oh my god. Ew. So, we already starting with the type of energy I like. So, I'm on my own business. I got a DM. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. I open it, I read it. It's a gentleman caller. It's talking about, um, he thinks I'm charming, it's that and the third bad, baddest bitch on earth. Attractive guy, not my type. So, you know, respectfully, I will not be, you know, accepting that request. <laughs> but, I read it and I appreciate it. Thank you. My first, you know, first man to holler at me all 2023, baby. We only a few hours in and I like how he was coming, you know? He broke down where he was from, what school he went to, why he's interested, what he's interested in, and asked for my hand, you know what I mean? To take me on tape. I like that energy. Then I went for a walk. And while I'm on my walk, this man, he was old, so he ain't no, I mean, please. But first thing he said, he was like, can I get a name so I can buy you something? Baby, you don't need a name to spend that money. <laughs> you do not need my name to spend your money. Just buy it. What store over here? Girl, I'm saying, mm -mm. I don't need it, but thank you. Bye bye. But again, energy. I got my parsley. Like, I like that kind of energy, baby. Pull up on my bumper, baby. I like that. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, what is this about? I keep clanging and banging up against stuff. I like that. I like that. This where the money at. Go. I like that. Uh, my black eyed peas and collard greens, they turned out real good. They turned out real good. One thing about it, you you make some collard greens and some damn black eyed peas, you're gonna be pooping all day. I ain't gonna lie to you. I said, oh, I'm gassy. <laughs> I had to figure out why. Grill them damn black eyed peas and collard greens. I said, all right, that, no, that'll do it. It'll do it every time. It'll do it every time. Yeah, but it was so good. I'll be eating that for dinner tonight. Oh, also another thing. So, I never heard this one, but apparently, if you looking for love and passion in your year, you're supposed to wear some red panties to ring in the new year. I've never heard of that in my life. But I warm. I did it. I warm. And this is what's crazy about that, right? I only own one pair of red panties. I bought these panties in 2020 and i bought them for whenever that special moment happens where i want to present them to someone right show them a little something i got them from agent provocateur and they are super super cute got the bra and panty to match you know what i mean bought those panties in 2020 you know to walk around the house for a man looking fine and and, and scrump diddly umptious. it never happened <laughs> So the tag was still on those panties. Baby, I pulled the tag off last night. First time in two years. Technically three years, bitch. That was 2020, it's 2023, that's crazy. So I just felt like, and, and the thing is that I never heard that, that um, I don't know what to call it, not a myth, not a whatever. I've never heard that tale before that you're supposed to wear red underwear if you want love and passion in your year. But I heard it the day before New Year's Eve and then I saw it on New Year's Eve on Twitter and I'm just like, wow, I've never seen or heard this before. Now I'm seeing it twice, I'm gonna do it. And I did it, so. We'll see, and then just like how the guys were coming on the DM and just when I was out today, I'm just like, I don't know. Something's telling me that my man might be around the corner. And baby, I'm trying to bump into him. Bump, bump, bump. Hey. Hey, no, I said hey. So, um, it's your girl, K-E-double-double-N-E-D-Y, K-E-double-double-N-E-D-Y. And, um, yeah, girl, mama is going out, out on the Going out, going out on the I'm going out on the town. <sighs> yeah. The first of 
just drive the town this year. And there shall be many, many more. Um, let's see what the weather's talking about. It was supposed to rain for a second, but I'm a type of sugar that can melt, baby. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, it's supposed to rain in a second. That's okay though. I can stay in the rain. I don't want to be in the rain, but I don't mind. You're going to see. It's that's supposed to rain though. Is it stupid to go out right now? It's just not giving like rain clouds. I just really want a smoothie to start the day. Like I really want to drink a smoothie. I don't know, I'm about to say fuck it. I just don't want to get my cute little headphones wet. I don't know, I'm gonna just get out there, fuck it. So yeah, going out. I'll see you girls when I get back. Bye. Okay, hey girl. Good morning. It is, what's today? Today is January 4th. It's 12.08. My driver is six minutes away. I am about to take a Pilates class with one of my homegirls who's in town. I love that idea of just like, oh, when a friend's in town, instead of us like doing the basics of just like going to grab something to eat, we'll do something like go take a workout class together. Like, that's cute to me. That was her idea. So, um, yeah, we're about to do that. And then, we will be grab. Hey, what the? Hello, hello. And then we will be grabbing something to eat afterwards. I'm gonna head down because it is three minutes away. I'm gonna grab some footage of the Pilates place on my phone. I think. Did I mess something up? Okay. Bye, girl. I'm sniffling and shit because last night I woke up and realized I kicked the covers off of me. So I woke up like feeling something. <laughs> in my throat. Yeah, I think I gave myself a little fake head cold. It'll be gone by the end of the day, but it's just annoying that I'm over here sniffling and shit. That's number one. Number two, you know how I thought I did something to my glasses before I left the house? Girl, how about I actually did do something? Not a one-eyed bandit, bitch done. So I guess when I was wiping off my glasses, I just put too much pressure on it and it poked it right the hell out. Hey girls. Let me show you my outfit. Cause one thing about it, it's called having some fun. And that's what I want us to do, you know what I mean? We're doing two different metallics. We've got the metallic silver and we've got the metallic gold. And we're just mixing it up because babe, we can. And I feel very cute. And these days, you better not push my camera off. Okay, these days, we're wearing what we feel cute in, period. Like, it's not about trends, it's not about what other people are doing, it's not about what other people think. It is about what we want to wear. I feel very much cute in this outfit, and I think I'm gonna sit outside for a second just to get some fresh air. But, um, yeah, I'm not mad at this, not one little bit, not one little bit. Back up. The grass ain't always greener. The grass ain't always greener. Sometimes that grass is patchwork. Someone put that grass there. That grass didn't come from the earth. That grass was planted by someone, okay? And I'm talking about plastic planted. As in bought in swatches from Home Depot and put in that backyard again. What I'm trying to explain to you is, I got that iPhone 14 Pro Max because the bitch thought I needed that. I thought I needed the top of the top. I needed the newest and bluest. You know what I mean? I needed what the girls have because if I'm going to upgrade, I need to upgrade to the tip of the top. You know what I mean? Like, why not get the best of the best? Bitch, how about the best of the best was the worst of the worst? Ooh. That iPhone 14 Pro Max was a bunch of hoopla. That phone was a waste of my damn time. It wasn't because I needed to experience it to know I don't need this. Um, and I still will be upgrading my phone. They just did not have the phone for me to be able to just buy it then and there. So I'm back with my A plus and I ain't mad at it. That's one thing about it. You can have your mechanics. I've got mine. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I have my machinery and it works for me. I've got what works. Um, so it's Sunday, it's January 8th, and I am editing the vlog for tomorrow because I do intend on uploading a vlog tomorrow. My concern is this vlog is gonna be boring, very much boring, because I don't know, like me even editing this like first half, 
I'm not, not even first half, I'm in the first minute. I'm just like, snooze fast, girl, who gives a shit, okay? But, I don't know. You know when you have people waiting for a minute for something, it's just like, you wanna come back with a bang? And I feel like I'm just coming in with a tink, not like with a peck. Uh, but it is what it is. This year, we're not overthinking, babe. We're just doing it. We're just doing it. And we're we're just, we just letting the shit do the talking. That's it. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't about to be over here doing all of that. So, a few things, right? Um, one, return that phone today. Also, what else? I did a few, I ran a few errands. I had to re return stuff to Zara. Like, that stuff that I got from Zara that I didn't want. Went ahead and returned that. I got a gift from a friend, a perfume, that it didn't settle right on me. So, I went to go and exchange that and they didn't have what I wanted there so gonna have to go back and I might just get something from a completely different brand because I don't want to force it I know there's another um, perfume I wanted how am I feeling I'm feeling okay okay and that's heavy on the O and the K I feel like what's mostly been like on my back, on my neck and my back, is just my lack of interest in being on the internet, yet not being able to be on the internet. Like, I naturally will grab my phone and start scrolling. It's as natural as breathing. It's as natural as blinking for me to pick up this phone and start, go to whatever app, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter. I go between those three apps or like a site where I buy clothes on and just get to scrolling just constantly scrolling um here are the things i recognize about social media for me one it is a source of entertainment i am entertained by social media tiktok days cracking me up there are informative videos that i see on tiktok as well and on instagram all those things are good for the most part right the bad part though is overwhelming like the idea that a lot of what i'm consuming is not real it is curated to invoke a feeling or a response not not to even make it deep, but just that's just what it is. Like, is social media the best place for me to receive my news or information? No, it isn't. Is social media the best place for me to interact with my friend? No. And I'm speaking from a place of yearning for more personal, interactive moments with my friends. I just had a girls' dinner with my homegirls, and we was talking about how we used to be so crafty growing up, like making things with our hands, putting things together, seeing our friends making up dances just using our hands more talking more like literally talking to each other because i talk the same amount bitch i'm always yapping <laughs> but i'm used to talking to people not talking to my camera not talking to the phone going live but like literally talking to people and when you don't stretch that muscle you lose it you lose the interest and you lose the ability then you have all this anxiety built up around having to be around people when that was never even a thing it's just a thing now because you spend so much time away from people and so i'm just trying to i feel like i'm learning where the root cause of my slump is coming from and i I think it's just from my constant activity online. It doesn't help, bitch. It doesn't motherfucking help that now being authentic online is an act of act. It doesn't motherfucking help, bitch. It does not help that now being authentic is a performance. I learned this term yesterday. It's called UGC, a UGC creator. Let me read out loud what a UGC creator is because the shit was crazy to me. UGC creator. Okay, UGC, oop, what the hell? What did I just do? Okay, what? A UGC creator is someone who creates sponsored content that appears authentic but is designed to showcase a specific business or product so there is now a name for someone who is performing authenticity you can pitch yourself as a UGC creator aren't we all supposed to be UGC creators isn't this all supposed to be authentic content so the fact that it is now a niche thing and people are purposely like I just saw a, a, a reel a second ago trying to teach people people how to come off more authentic like showing people how to do it literally and it's just like boy does that really pull at my comfort with showing myself online because I feel like there are people there who are studying me so then they can use it as a UGC creator you know what I'm saying and I'm human I get frustrated when I see people getting deals when they are performing
becoming authenticity. And I'm sitting over here actually being myself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, fuck, like, what is it that I have to do to be acknowledged or treated as these other creators who are not even showing up as themselves? They're showing up as a version of authenticity that they've seen on someone else. That shit is motherfucking frustrating. And it's frustrating because I was telling my friend, like, I'm having an internal battle because I'm feeling m more and more disconnected from being on social media, but social media is my main source of income. And it's like, fuck, what, what is a bitch to do? What the hell is a bitch to do when that's your situation? Um, so the solution I've come up with, because one thing about a bitch named Kennedy, I'm going to always have a solution sooner or later. So my solution is, number one, to spend less time online. I've been saying this since the start of the year, literally, that that's what I was going to do, spend less time on my phone. Have I achieved that goal yet? No. I haven't. I haven't, babe. But I want to. And I'm going to. And every day, I'm more and more intentional about that scrolling. When I catch myself doing it, I'll close my phone and I'll do something else. Because it is a habit that has become so, like, natural for my body to go and do, I'm going to give myself some grace around it. I'm, I'm trying really hard not to beat myself up when I catch myself scrolling or spending more time on my phone than I said I would. Because it is literally something I have to, like, right now, it's like, uh, what's it called when you have like it's muscle memory how quickly I'll go to go grab my phone and scroll and so it takes like a month to get over something like that it takes like 30 days to break the habit and so I'm just going to have to continuously stay on top of it because I personally believe that the less time I spend on social media the more creative I'll be and the more interested I'll be in uploading content right now I have zero interest we are on day 8 of January I have posted nothing and don't even have the urge to. I've gone live on TikTok twice already this year and really enjoyed myself. I think just being on a platform around people who maybe are not super familiar with me, kind of introducing them to who I am felt exciting and new and yeah. But yeah, that's my solution. Just spending less time on the internet. The less imagery, the less videos, um, the less shit I see, the freer my... Okay, I saw what that was. I saw what it was. That scared me. But... The less content I consume, the clearer and freer my mind will be to create my own content. It will not be muddled with everybody else's shit, everybody else's face, everybody else's voice. Like, I need time to get that shit out of my head. And that's what I'm going to do. And I also think it would be really helpful if I utilized my calendar, like my calendars that I can actually write in, to write what I want to do for that day and literally follow it. Like, okay, doom, you said you're going to do this do like create a schedule all day like what am i doing hour by hour like really break that shit down and follow it because yo whether you want to believe it or not motherfuckers be needing structure motherfuckers be needing structure motherfuckers be needing discipline well you need to be disciplined in order to stay structured right like you need discipline in order to show up in that organized structured space and um yo not not my strongest muscle it really isn't but i feel like last year i would be doing all the all all the work I did last year, if I sat up here and said I'm not disciplined, I'd be doing myself a disservice. Cause bitch, the way I showed up last year on this motherfucking YouTube channel, Sony, I ain't even gonna do it like that. I'm definitely disciplined and I know how to create structure in my life. I just haven't done it where it shows up in all areas of my life. It's like I'll focus it on one thing and in that thing I'll do it really well. Like I'm, I show up really well, like my skincare regimen. I'm always gonna make sure my skincare is done. I make sure I, you know, wash my body. I'm disciplined discipline in that regard like hygiene baby is disciplined mama don't play that now that's not how i was raised you know what i'm saying i'm going to make sure i'm taking care of myself in that regard that is a non-negotiable when it comes to my career it comes in ebbs and flows and right now we in the flow we in flow i'm speaking that into existence because um yeah that's that's what i that's what i want so that's what we're doing so tonight i will edit oh also i have been going to sleep earlier i've been getting in the bed before midnight amazing that's a great thing for a bitch that was going to sleep at like two four in the morning and when i say two or four in the morning i mean two or four in the morning it's either or right no earlier no later 
don't love that for me. So I've been getting in the bed before midnight and it's been helping to rock me to sleep, like go to sleep earlier and waking up earlier. Today, I woke up at 8 a.m. I closed my eyes again because I was like, 8 a.m., you 8 a.m., all right now, 8 a.m. And then I naturally woke up again at 8.30 and it was just like, all right, you want to get up. And it's because I went to sleep at midnight. And so my body got, and here's the thing, even when I do go to sleep mad late, two, four in the morning, I'm not waking up until I get my full seven, eight hours, six hours at the least. But like, I be getting all my sleep. I'm not like sleeping only for a few hours. I get all my rest, but it's just like, go to sleep at a decent hour so then you can have a full day. So then you're more inclined to go to sleep earlier and earlier because you've spent the whole day doing things and being up. It, it, it's really not that hard to conceptualize once you think about it, it's like, it makes sense, you know? It makes sense. So um, yeah, right now it is 8.51. So I'll probably do like another hour of edit and then start getting ready for bed and pack it up for bed. So this week, like these last few days, I haven't vlogged at all. I did not pick up my camera one because my SD card was filled and I just, I didn't uh, transfer stuff to make space. So I really allowed myself these last two days to just do nothing as far as like YouTube stuff goes. There's just no recording. I'm trying to relearn how to rest again. Like how to truly rest, rest my mind because I feel like my mind is constantly running but I again think that that's just from constantly scrolling and like my eyes having to focus and you know looking at this thing that's constantly moving and just like what your body's naturally going to do when it is looking at something so like relearning rest is the motto this year is one of the mottos this year and amongst other things relearning rest staying present i.e when I have an idea I want to think about the first First step in the first step only. I don't have to have everything figured out. Like this wall that I want to paint and make into this music wall. I'm thinking about all the pieces and when I do that, it becomes a lot and I start getting anxiety about moving forward. And the, and the anxiousness is just like, ooh, it's so much to do. I'm just, I'll find something else to do. You know what I mean? I get to my procrastination bag because it starts to be overwhelming to me. Now the project is overwhelming. Now I just would rather not, you know what I mean? I, I keep putting it off. So instead of doing that, I'm going to focus on the first step, which is find the paint color I want and buy the paint color. So I literally have, let me show you. Ugh, look at all this. Literally, look how thick this is of paint swatches. I can't even fan it out, but this is all these paint swatches. Um of what I'm thinking of painting this wall as. My homegirl is just over here and she picked out her favorite colors, which also happen to be my favorite colors for the wall. And yeah, I think it's just about going for it. Like even if I buy a few of these colors and just paint it and see what I like and see how it looks in the dark, see how it looks during the day, see how it looks, you know, when the sun's directly on it, really get an idea and then move forward. Yeah. So tomorrow is gonna be a big editing day. I'll be editing for probably the entire day or most of the day might finish early and uh you know if i have time i run a home depot if not i'll do it on tuesday but oh i was saying what like the year's mottos were so we've got relearn rest we've got stay present um also another tip for staying present is to find things to do with your hands so like getting back to the craftiness of it all so i built flowers and i'm gonna find a really cute vase to put them in or like a cute way to set them up. And I had such a good time with it that I purchased another bouquet. And it's not actually from the brand Lego. Um, Lego does, they do have these. They're just more expensive. I get this off of Amazon and I will link my Amazon storefront in the description box for you so then you can purchase this for yourself. But um, doing things with my hands keeps me present. I am literally thinking about the task at hand and nothing else. It keeps me in the moment and it's another way to practice keeping your mind on one thing, you feel me? That whole mind racing thing, like that's a thing for real. And a lot of us, and I just feel like as a community, like we be having a lot of shit going on. We got a lot of stuff we trying to accomplish. We got a lot of generational curses we trying to break. Like we got a lot we trying to do. 
do. And um, that's just a lot. And so things to quiet the mind um, help me to stay present. So doing little things like that. So relearning rest, staying present, and going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I have some ideas that'll rock your world, and they're just mine. There are some things in particular that I have literally had an ideation for the last few years, and because I'm unfamiliar with the lay of the land, um, it's just like the painting thing of just like thinking of all the steps that are necessary, and then feeling overwhelmed, and then being like, okay, I'll do it some other time, or I'll I'll wait until I get this, that, and the third in order. And really it's just like, let's get the first step done. That first step could take you there. And so, yeah, placing more bets on myself, you know, reconnecting with that part of myself that's hungry for achievement and not the achievement that you get from other people, but just the achievement of self, being proud of achieving something, achieving a dream. Chasing dreams is important to me because it's who I am to my core. It's when I tap into like my younger self, she feels the same way. She also is a dreamer. She's always been a dream chaser. And so it's really just like, I think how I stay connected to who I am to my core, you know, chasing a dream, achieving that dream, believing in myself, you know, believing in yourself means more than just that. It's like there have to be some acts behind it. So what are you doing that is really challenging you to believe in yourself and proving that you do truly believe in yourself? It's more than just words. Like, how are you actually doing that shit? What are you doing that you can say, I believed in myself. This is how I believed in myself because watch how I did this thing. I, I stayed, you know, I stayed in it. I trusted myself. I trusted my gut and I saw it through. Like, it's just like taking it up a notch. It's just taking it it's more than just what's coming out that mouth it's just like actually like showing up for yourself and creating the type of life you want the type of life i want is where i'm being so honest with myself and loving to myself and clear about who i am and making sure it's aligned with who i want to be like we doing all of that we doing all of that we doing all of that you feel me so yeah 2023 just like 2022 shall be a year that we move into intentionally what we get out of this year we won't know till the end of it but for now today those are the practices that are at the forefront for me relearning rest staying present and going for it <laughs> um yeah i'm going to ah, i'm gonna finish editing and just most of all i'm happy to be back connected with you girls um and y'all know i use girls as a term of endearment i know we have some boys in the room and everybody know that everybody know that that y'all in here too we know that i seen y'all in the comments Nah, I love you guys, all y'all. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i happy to start this year this way with you all on this platform. And you know, I'm just praying for another year of consistency and connection and community. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you girls next week. <laughs>